planning on doing a let's play of Undertale. I'm gonna make sure I don't let what people say about how I'm playing it get to me. Cause I don't take back what I said. I am not gonna stream. No, I under know. Yeah, no, because you know the, the people who are so toxic. You know that that's oh, just one of those examples yeah. where it's like you're not doing passive fist round. You're not playing in my way. Free. Like it, they it take gives, that game. It gives they the OCD Tetris of Bliss a run for her money compared to that shit. Uh, no, <laughs> no, it doesn't, because at least with Bliss, it's fun. Yeah. Also, like, if I ever have to deal with that when I do my Let's Plays of Undertale, I'll be like, okay, guys, I'm gonna be straight out. Don't be trying to be the second gamer. I don't need a player two for this. I can play it by myself. Let's see. I know the Undertale Wait, fans are triggered. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, I don't really blame um, blame your choices, Golden, because even I know if they're going to start that with me, I'd be like, you know what? Who's playing the game? It ain't you. It me. So shut it. <laughs> That'd be basically the way I put it. Who's playing this game? Not you. Me. Not you. Me. It's a joke's on you, you Shut bastards. It. No, see, I would tell them to go put a fish hook through their penis or their clit, depending God on the damn, situation. God damn, Ellie! What the hell? I don't- I- I'm not nice. I'm not <laughs> nice. No, you're not. You don't hold I wonder that. how many people just simultaneously crossed their legs because of me. No, they cringed so fucking hard. Again. Huh? All the men. What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> is freaking out. That is just a looking at Magical's reaction. Someone tell Bliss about Tricky Tower? Uh, sometimes it's the little things. You gotta make your own fun. Yep. Mentors 99 plus bliss equals fun. Oh boy. <laughs> Savage Eliora is best Eliora. Yep. Do I need to start talking about wet bitches again? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. No, Brett knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think everybody what? does. I'm scared to know what you're talking about. Tricky okay, this happened. Th this happened early on in Fox's um, streaming career, he, um, because of me, because I'm like that. He was streaming a a an NES Barbie game. Oh, <laughs> I think I know what you're talking about now. Apparently, water <laughs> hurts her. Yes, I remember yeah. now. And it's Solar said it best: water right up the bagu. And, and I'm then... I'm right there, and I'm me, so I say that's not how you get a bitch wet. Yeah. And I broke everyone. It, you really broke golden at that moment. <laughs> I remember seeing that long ago, and I was laughing so hard I was tearing. <laughs> that's how much that made me laugh, because that was like perfectly timed. That was like the best punchline throughout the whole game. <laughs> I seem to throw in some really good one-liners when I'm not thinking about it, because I had something similar. I had something similar happen when Chris and I went to see the My Little Pony movie. Uh, the funniest moment in the entire movie, according to him, was directly because of me. Because at that point in time where they're like underwater and they're blacking out because they're drowning and shit, and the screen face the black, I go, My little pony! <laughs> <laughs> and just. <laughs> everybody died. I wouldn't blame them. I would be the one of those few that would too. Well, granted, it's not hard oh. to make you laugh. True! Mm -hmm. I'm an easy one to entertain. <sighs> Didn't someone in the stream compare the the sprite of Barbie to fried chicken? Yes. Do you know who that was? John Tron. It was Finn. Finn. 
Oh, Finn it quoted was Finn, Jontron. Finn, 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 when Finn once did, when Finn did uh, join in going back to streams, he did say that. I remember. Marvin, why does your head look like fried chicken? I would love to have Finn uh, in a call during the stream at one point. He's, he's oh, so know. much fun, except for his goddamn puns. I, you know like, what? No, I would, I no, would... no. The, if I had to pick one thing about Finn that I fucking hate, it's those goddamn puns of his. Because it doesn't stop. Whenever, whenever we're in a TF2 game, whenever we're in a TF2 game, it's always the same. And he's like, he throws the puns out all the time. And he's like, I'm sorry. And he sounds so sorry. But then he keeps doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't stop. You know what? That sounds like a perfect advantage of what Finn has over a lot of people. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Finn's, uh. no, Finn, Finn's a sweetheart, but his jokes are awful. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to hold back on what the people in the chat are saying right now. Yeah, I can see it. No, I, I am very much a firebrand about puns. I fucking can't stand them. But I can die. Unlike, but unlike, but unlike firebrand, you would not hesitate to throw your own puns every now and then. The th yeah, the thing is, I'm also a huge hypocrite. And when a lot of times when I see an easy joke, my mouth will move before the rest of my mind can catch up. <laughs> and that means that I will throw out puns when they're stupidly easy. I've been trying to teach myself to not do that. That's why you hear me mutter too easy a lot. <laughs> but I can't, I can't help it sometimes. I mean, I don't blame you. Because there are a lot of times where it's way too good of a timing to throw a pun. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Yep. I think the hippogriffs of his heads are the same. What? I'm trying to figure out. I'm looking at the bases of the uh, of the all the creatures of MLP, and I'm looking at the female heads of the griffins, hippogriffs, mm -hmm. comparison, and I'm like, oh, I think all the heads are overall the same. Yeah, they are. The males have the same kind of head shape, and the females also do. Cousin Chow, yes, that was a microwave. You're fine. <laughs> oh no, Ninja, how dare you get food, you evil, <laughs> evil man. Um, so uh, Desert Samurai is asking about Brony con uh, Contact. I'm actually saving that because something that I mentioned during pre-show is that um, for a while now, I've been wanting... What? That was about um, the Brony Analysis fan art group. Carry on. Oh. So... Um, I believe either tomorrow or sometime at some point, I plan on having my own personal podcast. Ooh. Meow. Yeah. So, um, I'll give a much better rundown whenever I start, but I'm still working with a lot of technicals first before I get started. Fair enough. Okay, so I don't know why, but for some reason, my brain has started shouting the words penis wrinkle on repeat. What? Okay, good for you. I don't know! <laughs> okay. Okay, then. So, so basically, the podcast is me talking about just anything regarding any general media, whether it's new or whatnot. And one of which I want to talk about a little more on the experience of BronyCon. Uh, yeah. So. Shall be into this. As well as a few other things, like I kind of want to give my own two bits on uh, Mulan. You know, the, uh, I'm I'm giving a little too much spoilers. Oh, that groan does not sound very happy. Fed up with Disney remakes. <laughs> I mean, You're fed up with all these Dalars. <laughs> what you don't know what that is either? No. I, I got it. Dalar, D L A R, Disney live action remake. Oh. Yeah, so I just call them Dalars. 
Call him DeLames for all I fucking care. <laughs> I think Ellie's turned into Mod Pie. <laughs> About this bullshit I have. <laughs> no, there's there's just a point in time where you have to stop caring. And, and and we've not only passed that, we've done a fucking triple axle spin landing on one blade backwards over the fucking line. <laughs> Ten points, but god damn it, come on! <laughs> Uh, okay, if if Ellie's being Mod Pie in a way, I'm pretty much being Pinkie Pie right now. And I'm just sitting there with popcorn in my hands. Yes, you are. I was that what, what was in the microwave? Are you literally eating popcorn to my rant? Not really, no. <laughs> that was I was actually going to start laughing if you were, because that would have been hilarious. Well, if you want, I can go ahead and stir up some popcorn. I More Ellie rage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna choke on my own shit. I'm be careful. Oh god. <laughs> I hate everybody. Oh god. Oh, Desert Samurai. I love that. What, is, what did he say? <laughs> More like salty, uh, salty El. Uh, Salty. Salty aura. aura. I have been called that many times before. Jesse Pie. <laughs> That's Jesse that pie. almost looks. That almost sounds like Jasper Pie. Hmm. I know. That's Jasper. why. I, yeah, I don't want to do that. Hmm. Fuck. Because I don't want Jasper getting at me about my, it. My boot. Magical Star. I, I are you really Jasper. that fucking surprised? What? <sighs> Ma magical star, like this is just this is just daily for no, for for us. Like it's almost not a day if I'm not getting pissed at one of my friends over something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wrong. No, you're not. I think so far the only time the only one who ha you haven't gotten truly ragey ready to get your revenge on is me no um uh, no, uh, you know, no, th no there's no. a whole different discussion that i'm not gonna mention on here huh no oh I, is that about my actual temperament um you know some ju let's just say that there's some justice that is served when needed <clears throat> Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but we can't drop names in the stream because we could get in trouble. Yeah, let's not do it. Yeah, much. but um, I don't actually get mad. I just like chewing people out because giggles. <laughs> <laughs> Although I am going to absolutely assassinate you in your goddamn sleep with some fucking poison <laughs> for the way you mishandled your Pokemon, you goddamn bastard. But at any rate... On top of giving you the silent treatment. <laughs> yeah. You wish. <laughs> you did. He did, remember? God, you were so mad. You, you were. You were, like, ready to kill Oh, him. no. I, I, I don't take kindly to being silent. And if In you the words do it to of me any again woman... Right now, I swear to fucking God, I will, act I will actually punch you when I see you next. <laughs> I will physically punch you. Yes. Let this be your lesson, folks. Never silence a woman. That'd be your death sentence. Goddamn pre roll ads. <laughs> and it's one of those that I cannot skip. Fucking lovely. Ugh, I hate those. Yeah, they're really those. obnoxious. This yeah. is why I'm glad I got an ad blocker on my computer. Because then I don't have to worry about those. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Really, dude? <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky that I swallowed my soda before I accidentally spit, uh, spit it oh all over Oh my the god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my sister actually.
actually loves that song for some weird reason. Like, really I love it too. Like I mean, a good it's... song's a good song, but a fucking meme! <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I was like, you do realize this? That's now a meme song, right? She's like, so? <laughs> okay, whatever Might you Might as well play in the end. I've tried. No, no, no. You know what? Never mind. Don't. Don't do that freaking unnecessary edgy. No, <laughs> you want that. Um, let's see here. Oh, no. <laughs> no. What the hell? <laughs> if you are going to go with I think you're going to go with gold, I am not going to be happy. Okay, this is taking too long to get to it. Fuck it. Can't do the punch <laughs> right there. <laughs> there are just some of those songs that just, like, it takes a while to get to the punchline, and there are ones that get straight to the point. Uh. Kids in Chow, I was legit gonna play Linkin Park's Crawling. You a hole! I mean, I still like that song. Ah, I used to like that song, but people have, um. You know what? It, it's a petty reason. Oversaturation? No, it's not even that. No, people will constantly use that as ammunition of a reason to call Linkin Park emo. Yeah. Because they always misinterpret the lyrics of crawling on my skin as slit my wrist crawling on my skin, which is not what the song was about. Yeah, I know. It was about Chester's addiction to crystal meth and his struggles with it. But of course, people take it the wrong way. Yeah, and like, if this like... Oh boy. You know what? It's too many eggshells to walk on. I'm not even going to continue this subject now. Yeah, fair. That's fair. That's yeah, fair. let's leave it at that. I always I always get worried when I start doing my raging even when it's my comedic raging because there's so many people who just can't seem to tell the difference because I'm such, such so good at fucking screamo and <laughs> they just can't tell that I'm having fun and joking around and being over dramatic except for except for like a few who actually know me and are like okay she's not serious let's poke the bear <laughs> and, it, and like like someone has been doing all day fucking god damn it and, and um so yeah, I, I I just I get I guess I've gotten a little sensitive about the subject because I don't want to seem like I'm actually scary, or that I'm actually going to hurt someone, or that I'm actually angry. <laughs> uh, it happens. It does happen, and I've accepted it that I've accepted that not everybody is going to get it. Cause I I knew that from the beginning, but I guess I just didn't count on it being such a large portion. Um, I like what Wheel of Steel mentioned, because it's kind of a funny idea. So, if Ellie Okay, would you know be... what? <laughs> oh, boy. we get the ultimate re? <laughs> Do you want to have glass in your house at the end of the day? So, I like what, um, Derek added on to it. So, Ellie and Blissey's fusion would become Blissiora. I like that. It actually sounds really nice. It sounds catchy, but... It sounds but... elegant. It sounds elegant, but cute at the same time. Bliss and I have talked about doing a fusion between our characters. I used to talk to uh, Bliss about having a fuse of our characters, but, like, I, I think it's at this point that... Like, the way I'm seeing it at this point, um... Euphoria is pretty much the one fusion... Because if the rest of us started fusing together, it would start to oversaturate and it would devalue Euphoria's character. Yeah. Pretty much. So and it, also, that would end up trying to have fans try to want to fuse with all the Yeah, us. and I don't want to Not do that. Not all of us wants to go through that. Mm. Which, that's fair. 
it's fair to like try to avoid doing that, so I don't mind it. Yeah. I feel like my the back of my throat is shedding. What the fuck is going on? What the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that wasn't me. What was that? Uh, Miss Bliss, oh. are you all right? <laughs> what? what? The what? Fuck? what? What is that, Golden? <laughs> what the heck was that, Golden? <laughs> yeah, you're laughing over here. What was that? <laughs> well, um, I'm pretty sure that somebody can answer you in the chat. Oh, I see E.G. Hi, E.G. Hey, E.G. And there goes my dog. All right, well, I guess I'll have to play it again. G1 experts, why don't you tell us how this Grogar compares to the original- That's Master Code. Hello? Uh, Miss Bliss, <laughs> are you all right? I have so many words. Okay, I'm gonna pause it there. Was that master code? It was a part of the collab with the uh, bliss on the beginning of the end. Oh. Yeah, it's when she goes on over Grogar. <laughs> well, how the hell are us plebeians supposed to know that? <laughs> I know I was. I know I wouldn't have. <sighs> Good lordy doggo, chill out. She's waiting for my mom because she's about to get ready to go to the bed. <sighs> okay. I don't know if this is just me, but every time I hear Ellie hum singing out that one particular song from Steven Universe, the way she's. Twilight Princess intro theme in the For a second, I, I thought you I, were going to sing that lullaby from Link's Awakening. No, this is a. In Twilight Princess, it starts with the original, like, well known intro theme from the very first Zelda game. But then, close to the climax. And then, like, close to the end, like, the finishing off in the one before the title of the game appears, you see Wolf Link, and then you hear that well known echoing wolf howl, along with a little bit of midness to go along with the main one. It's really good. I get goosebumps down my back every time I hear that theme song. It's just so good. I would think that the illusion would be ruined by the sound of my ranting husband in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Wheel of Steel? Are you crazy? Oh my god, do you want people to die? Like, the only way that could be worse is if they fused with Nicole. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I mean, Nicole is already powerful as is. I mean, she says one thing. It's like, I got my gut. <laughs> I'm still going to keep that. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. That's, I'm, I'm waiting for that. I'm still looking forward to the review with me having a cameo. I was excited. And my daughter's excited about it too. She's like, I look, I'm waiting so much. I'm wondering when we're gonna do it. She's like, well, give it time. Gotta make the script and all that jazz. Or hungry somebody. She's real. Oh god. Oh my god. Yeah. That's you're on a genocide old. mission, aren't you? Yes, Fucking you hell, are. Hero Steel. You're you're secretly an assassin, aren't you? 
It's the car of cuteness. <laughs> and on that note, I think it's best that I uh, come and enter the stream. Yeah. So we're kind of like running out of things to talk about. So um, thank you everybody for joining in. I did. I it, it kind of turned into a live when I said I was doing the solo stream, but you kind of saw what happened. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'll catch you next Friday uh, when I continue, or maybe tomorrow, depending on how much progress I make and uh, setting up, you know, that. So, anyways, um, uh, thank you for joining in. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. Um, Bye. Yep. Yeah, later, y'all. Bye-bye.